All right, I'm on my break. Um, got about 10 minutes worth of work left here. Uh, only been working a couple minutes, but I decided to take a break because I need to uh, sharpen the chainsaw. Um, it's not that hard to do. It's very simple, actually. Um, almost time to put another pot of coffee on. I noticed about the birch is this beautiful wood. Uh, you can see the texture, the coloration. Uh, real good wood, solid wood. Um, I'd like to have some uh, homemade furniture based on birch wood alone. Uh, sand it down nice and smooth. Um, and just seal it. You don't need to stain it. Just seal it. Beautiful, beautiful wood. The grain is beautiful too. It would be something I would probably think of doing uh, sometime in the near future. Um, before I started doing the uh, firewood, I was leveling off uh, the ground over here, uh, just making it nice and smooth, um, getting rid of all the patchy grass. You don't need patchy grass, it's not going to do any good. So, I'm getting rid of all that. What I'm going to do uh, next year, not this year, but next year, is I'm going to rake all the stuff out nice and smooth. Um, I'm going to buy some uh, grass seed, I'm gonna seed it up nice and good, buy a couple bales of hay and just loosely spread some hay over the seed so it doesn't wash away and blow away and uh, wait for early to midsummer and remove the hay, what's left of it, and let the uh, grass grow. It would be beautiful grass. I'm thinking about putting deer grass, nice lush grass. Uh, in order to do that though, you got to take the dirt, level it, uh, loosen it up just a little bit for aerates. Uh, might want to invest in some uh, fertilizer. You don't need a whole lot. Just a little bit of calcium will actually push the grass right through. Stay away from phosphates. You don't want phosphates, it'll burn the roots. It's not a whole lot going on today other than just putting around doing small jobs. Um, I took down one good sized tree uh, earlier. Uh, a friend of mine showed up and wanted to. Uh, take it home with him because the grain was so tight. Uh, I'll show you. What he means by tight grain is grain that wraps. Um, he wants to make some uh, um, mailbox posts for him and his daughter and that's the perfect grain to do it in because it will last a lifetime. Um, that's the thing about birch. Birch is nice solid wood. It has a uh, grain that Based on the seasons, I guess, uh, whether it's a hot season, or wet season, or a windy season, the grain compensates and makes the wood nice and tight. You want tight wood. But anyways, uh, not this crap here. This crap is loose, loose grain. You don't want that. Um, I do have experience uh, working with wood, so I'm not talking out my ass, everyone. <clears throat> you had to dig a small irrigation here uh, so that the water doesn't seep underneath. Uh, I gotta redo the fire pit. I want it level. This is all gonna come out eventually uh, because all this can be replaced. That's where the building is gonna go. It's gonna be a 20 by 20 with plenty of room for an addition. Um, I decided that over here is going to be a small woodshed over here. Uh, once the tent, the canopy is done, there will be a small garden there. And over there is going to be the outhouse, which will be right in there. It's going to be cleared off. Um, I talked to uh, a couple of good friends of mine locally 
and they're going to help me uh, put in some uh, loom and uh, some mulch so that all of this stays walkable instead of muddy. As it is right now when it rains, this part right here coming up, it gets pretty muddy um, right here. And I usually end up walking over here so I don't get all mud. But uh, that's because there's just no, no sunlight that comes through here to speak of. So it stays moist all the time. And that's why you get moss. All this grass here is uh, perfect. There's clover. Um, beautiful clover too. It's, very uh, common right here. All the stuff here, I'm just going to go in and thin it out, all the branches and dead stuff, like I started doing there. Uh, just clean it up nice and good. Get rid of all this dead wood. So there's a whole lot that I'm going to be doing here, depending on obviously plans as they go by. Um, the reason I cut these so that the stump stick up is I'm going to be marking them. Uh, the reason I'm going to be marking them is over time I'm going to have to dig down into the roots, break the roots and pull the stumps out. That's why I leave them up three four inches. Normally I would cut them down like this but uh, for right now I just leave them there as markers. Um, over here is coming out really good since I've uh, scraped all the pine needles and dead branches and old roots. Got rid of those, leveled it off a little bit. Now you got some green coming up, which is good. Uh, you definitely want that. Um, all this stuff here has to uh, come out. I decided that what I'm going to do is take all these brush piles and I'm going to transfer them all over to that one over there and just keep stacking it up and back. Uh, that way it dries. Uh, next spring uh, it'll be all dry and uh, just all the leaves obviously throughout the fall and the winter are going to fall off anyways. And then I can take the wood and cut it up, stack it, and that'll be nice firewood. Probably have to uh, doctor the tree up here. There's tree paint you can use, a sealer that seals all of the stuff here um, so that it doesn't dry rot and keep dripping out. It's black and sometimes gray. You just aerosol can, you spray it, let it set, and um, pretty soon it looks like this as opposed to this but anyways I'm just yapping away letting everybody know what I intend to do um, let's see if I can uh. alright well I have more tools in here than I know what to do with <laughs> but uh, Everything seems to be um, working out perfect. This is my canopy that I get under. Uh, I sit in here sometimes. It's, as you can see, I can just walk, stand up, walk it under it. Um, it's five and a half, six feet tall, so it's no big deal. Uh, that's where Bambi stays. That's her old area. on the radio. By Boston at Fenway last night. After 10 innings of play, 5 to 3, Houston over Boston. They'll be back at it tonight at 7 10 on our sister station, AM 620, The Pulse, WZON tonight. New York Yankees got shut out by Tampa Bay, 5 0. Wow. And they'll be uh, at Tampa Bay. Yankees at Tampa Bay. We'll be long for the Sox game. And in case you're wondering how the New York Mets did in the National League yesterday, they beat the Chicago Cubs 3 to 2. Oh. And about it, 
here on the Gospel Grace Program. You are always most welcome. Looking at the Patriots. Put away Philadelphia 42 to 35 last night. In As you can tell, I like listening to sports. Um, I'm not over um, overrated with it, but I like listening to them. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see this or not. That's my little brown recluse that I've decided to leave there. It doesn't bother me, so I'm not going to bother her. It's a beautiful spider. Um, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> yeah. Think about brown recluse spiders though, folks. Uh, no joke, you do not want to get bit by them. They cause what's called necrosis deadening and rottening of the skin and tissue and if it's untreated it can be fatal um, I've been around spiders and wood and woods uh, long enough to know stay away from them uh, let them be but uh, anyways it's a beautiful day out everything seems to be coming together nice and fine it hasn't rained yet knock on wood um, I got a shop in the chainsaw, get back to cutting firewood, I gotta take that trash, take it down the road to the dumpster, uh, take those, and there's a guy who lives up here about a oh, quarter of a mile, he collects them for uh, charity, uh, takes them down to the re recycling center, they pay him by the pound, so... I'll set those out for him. Otherwise than that, there's really not a whole lot more to say. Um, I gotta check on Bambi though. They haven't checked on her in a half hour. I check on her every half hour or so. Bambi! Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Hi. You resting, huh? You resting? Yeah. Yeah, you resting, huh? Yeah. Daddy love you. Yeah. It's uh ten thirty two. You ain't supposed to see that. <laughs> Good stuff. Ah. <laughs> uh, just the heater. What, you gonna try to sneak out? Hmm? Yeah, you gonna try to sneak out, are you? Not today, you don't, but I'll open up the screen for you. So you can see out. Yeah. Let's <clears throat> kick back a few minutes. Oh. I will say this. If you told me a year ago I'd be doing this, I'd have called you a liar. But it's nothing new to me. I mean, when I was a kid, uh, I was thrown away and lived on the streets. When you're in Kruger Ave, Bronx, New York, as a little kid living on the streets, you learn what survival is all about real quick. In essence, you become an adult as a child. I'm not saying I enjoy this. But I'm tired of being hurt. I'm tired of, and no offense to anyone listening to this or watching it, but I'm just tired of people in general. All my life I've been lied to, bullshitted, used, taken advantage of, beaten, raped. I'm just tired of it, you know. It's not going to happen again. This little stuff with Danita and what she did was the final straw. It reminded me of what happened all my childhood, and 
there is nothing more painful than reliving all that over again. I believe in karma, I really do. And, uh, she'll get what she deserves. And when she does, I hope God has mercy on her. Anyways, uh, just wanted to let you all know that that's what's going on. And no, I can't get her out of my mind because it's just so painful. I, I just cannot get it out of my mind. And I want to. I, I pray every friggin' night. But I cannot get it out of my mind. And I think it's because I just can't forgive. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, everybody. I'm gonna shut this off before I start getting depressed again. And uh, I don't know when I'll get a chance to upload to YouTube, share it to Facebook. It'll probably be this afternoon or this evening. But until then.